Yeah, listen to how good that sounds when you get that dialed in. Welcome back to DIY DSP. And today I'm going to answer your questions about this, the FX Core eval board from Experimental Noise. Last week I put out an unboxing video and I looked up all the questions that people have asked me and I want to respond to them now. So the first question comes from my friend Andrew. Andrew Holinsky, a brilliant media artist, guy who loves programming, making interesting sounds and lights and video, everything, you name it. So when he asked me, how do you use it? He wanted to know, is it something that you plug into the computer, like an audio interface, or is it an outboard type effect box? So I wanted to answer that question. This is an outboard type of effect box. So you see right now, it's not connected to my computer at all. It's just got the audio cables and it's got the power cable. Now this is just the dev board. And what you're supposed to do is design your sounds like this and then put them into a metal box. So I hope that answers your question, but just to bring it home, I'm gonna um, give a demo now. I've got a, a flanger program loaded in there right now. So let's demo the flange program. I'm gonna start up a little beat. And this is an interesting flange program because it only works when you press the tap tempo button. So let's listen. Now let's pretend that that was inside of my, uh, you know, permanently built guitar pedal and I wanted to put a new sound in there. So what I'm going to do is connect this, the FX Core eval board up to my laptop with this USB cable. So that just goes in the side and it's, um, I forget what size that is, the name of it, but it's, it's a little bit of an older one. So keep those around. And now we're going to go over to the computer screen for a second. We're going to open up the experimental noise program. FX core detected serial number 138. That's kind of a special number to us Misfits fans. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up the uh, default distortion program. You have to set a location number for now. I've just been using three. All right. Now, there's a button that I'm just going to press to hit program, but for fun, I'm going to let the old flange program play and then we're going to program it while it's playing just to show you that it's possible. And it's that quick. We're now in the distortion program again. So now the distortion controls were active. At this point, you can completely exit out of the program. And now I'm going to disconnect the, the board completely from the computer. See that? It doesn't even interrupt the, uh, the sound. And now we're back to just a standalone board that, um, you know, you can make your own sound and customize it. You can make uh, pedals for your friends, or you can start your own micro boutique company, maybe make a run of 10 or 20 guitar pedals. Okay, so that's the main point of this video, everyone. I just wanted to get across that um, this one is a, a standalone type of a device. Uh, there are a couple people asked me other questions too when I posted um, the, my unboxing video. So I'm going to get back to those uh, and answer each one of your questions, uh, probably one video at a time. So, uh, you know, keep posting any other questions that you have. Notice there were a couple corrections uh, to my unboxing video posted by none other than the um, creator of the uh, FX Core eval board himself. So you might want to just um, check those out. And I'll catch you next time.